Hello everybody and welcome back to the streak. We are jumping in again on another run. We just hit a 10 streak. I'm very, very happy that we managed to arrive at a 10 streak. So let's uh, boot up our randomizer, Isaac randomizer, and see what we might get this time around. Give it a little go. Uh, and we get regular Samson. Okay, cool. Uh, by the way, I I'm still not entirely sure how exactly I'm going to interject modded characters into this, because obviously the randomizer just includes vanilla characters. I think, to be fair though, considering we have a lot of other avenues to play modded characters, it's not a big deal. Um, and also, some of the modded characters tend to have like some kooky interactions that make them harder on streaks or a little bit like unfair on streaks. But then again, I'm not opposed to using them. Either way, let's jump in as Samson here um, and see how we go. Samson's obviously a pretty decent character to start with. We get an item room off the bat as well. Lovely. Oh my god, this game. This game. Holy. <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. Uh, well, I say today, just in the streak in general, but the game goddamn loves me. I'm probably going to take damage here, but it's okay. I, yeah, I did. I unfortunately lost that burn heart, but not the end of the world, but the game just loves me. This streak has been the most lucky thing I've ever done in Isaac. Like, I'm not saying we've got a win here, but heal spur is literally more than doubling our damage. <laughs> it's it's absolutely insane how good heal spur is. Heal spur is, I think, is one of the most broken items for damage in the game in modded. Um, and anytime you see it, like, it's one of those items that just like. It, it's so clearly quality for like anyone that even tries to claim it's not is is just deranged it's it's insanely good like you barely you barely need to move to increase your damage right our base damage is four and that's with one hit so 3.5 but we move we get up to 8.55 and even just tapping it we're going up to like six damage it's just it's just ludicrous how good it is it's ludicrous I absolutely... Oh, we got a lag spike there. Yep, okay. I, I really despise these little dudes. Good. I took some bad damage there. Um, let's quickly go back and grab this red heart here. Does mean we have insane damage this floor right now, though. But yeah, we'd, we'd, we'd be lucky to get like an IV bag or something like that. But yeah, basically just walking back and forward increases our damage a ton. It's very, very easy to maintain the damage boost. Um, as for the question of the day, what's something that's overpowered in another game that you really, really enjoy? <laughs> uh, ooh, that's very, very nice. Soap box is very good for healing. Um, we heal for two at the start of the next floor. I think we're just going to go down here. We could potentially do a mother run here, maybe. Uh, potentially. Right, um, let's just pop the stars straight away. That's actually pretty good too. 50% uh, damage to all enemies uh, of the same type. Scales up to 35%. It's good. And it is a reference to um, Petscop too, which is nice. Oh, we got this, which whatever this is. Destroys the closest rock and turns it into a large ghost. Using the active again will detonate the large ghost in the room. Okay, interesting. That seems cool to me. <laughs> seems like a good way to do some damage. Yeah, I like that a lot. And it works on pots and stuff too. I mean, technically we could use this to just like destroy all the rocks we need. I mean, there's a tinted rock right there. Will it destroy that? Yes, it will. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This is pretty good. This is a very, very good run here. I like this active a lot. This is cool. I like the visual effect it leaves behind as well. That's kind of cool. I'm doing the rest of the floor here just to get as many consumables as we can. Potentially find secret room in that lot. But yeah, I'll, I'll do it to like the pots and stuff here. Like, the game just loves me. <laughs> it just fucking loves me. Man. Um, why is everything in here slightly cheaper? I don't actually... Oh, I've got one of the miser hearts. That's why. I'll grab these. Grab the card as well. Empress is good for our boss. I mean, I can destroy the rest of these, but I really have no need to at this point. <laughs> as if I got the quarter that quickly. That's so funny. And look how much damage that does. Look at the damage, baby. And the, the, the radius on that as well is crazy. 
Okay. Okay. This game's pretty ludicrous right now. Okay, it doesn't work on poops, which is... Oh, no, it does. Okay, it doesn't matter. It does. I was going to say, which is probably somewhat balanced, but... It does. Doesn't matter. It does. We got some... We got some crazy stuff going on here. I love that noise. The pet scoff little picking up noise. What a great idea for an item. Good old tool. There you go. Take care of you. Easy. Wait, 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 wait. No, I was just about to say no way it works on this. I just have to try this. Ah, it doesn't count as a rock. Damn it. Okay, so unfortunately, unless we get another uh, two bombs somehow, that's not going to happen. Which I don't think there's any way we're getting. I mean, I'll check the shop real quick here. I'll check the shop real quick. I don't think there's any other way we can grab, right? Might as well destroy these. <laughs> Why not? Um, I mean, we could play the slots, but I think that's probably a bit of a waste. Beautiful stuff. Uh, we could try and find secret room, maybe, real quick here. Um, I'm not entirely sure where it'd be, to be honest. Just take a little look around. Sacro room, is it next to you? It could be. It could be there. There's, there's, there's a lot of places it could be here, so I'm a bit wary to, to use my bombs. I'll give this a go. I'm not going to use another bomb after this, though. Hey, there you go. Nice. Oh, really? <laughs> really not what we needed. Thank you, nonetheless, and we can use Empress in our boss here to just annihilate whatever boss it ends up being. I can't believe we got Quarter and our second pot destroyed, man. Game is very, very generous. And then just a, a quick little nickel as well, why not? And <laughs> swallowed penny, oh my god. Nah, we'll we'll stick with uh we'll stick with the current trinket we've got, I think. Can I, like, just do this? Right. Go do that. Destroy. In this room. It's a little quicker if I do that, yeah. I don't detonate the ghost. Right. Nice. Got a hit on you there. Try and take you guys out. <laughs> oh my god. What a crazy run we got going on here. We'll grab that. Devil deal. I actually don't think I'm going to go for right now. I'd rather keep my red hearts. We'll grab whatever this is. Clotty boy, lovely. Right, down we go. Just quickly grab both of these. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go down this way. I'm going to go down this way. We've got plenty of stuff going on here, so why not? So why not? Got our little clot doing us some good as well here. Man, it is. I, I think I spoke about it in one of my previous episodes, but it is big curry day today. Big curry day indeed. I'm very excited. Basically... We were supposed to do Secret Santa, um, like, near New Year's, and we didn't end up getting around to it, so now we're doing it now, at the end of this month instead. And so we're, like, me and a bunch of our mates are all going out for a curry and doing gift exchange. It's going to be fun. I'm excited for it. I'm quite excited indeed. Right. We've got plenty of money, plenty of keys to work with here. Um, I think I'll take that. That's pretty good. Yum Heart would probably have been better in the long run, but I really, really, really like this so far. We should probably destroy these as well. I mean, look at this. The money we're getting from them and stuff. It's just... It's too lovely. I'm, I'm doing my due diligence here. I've got to... Oh, really? That's not the rock I wanted at all. Oh, we've got the regening rocks uh, thing going on right now. There you go. Just spewed out some spiders, but I got them back. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I'll get that one too. Why not? Oh, is it reaching into another one? We're going to be here a while. I think this can drop the leech, though, so I do want to keep going with this if I can. I would like the leech if it's there for me. And then shoppeth. What do you have for me? 
the cheese grater. Removes one red heart container and gives you damage and three mini Isaacs. I don't really see... I don't know why Tool's making a bunch of noise. I don't really see Grater being that good, to be honest. A heart container for that little damage is, is not really a bargain I'm looking for. I think the ghost automatically goes towards the nearest enemy as well, by the way. It seems like. Ooh, ooh, spike rock there. Gotta be careful of destroying rocks and spike rocks being generated in their place. That's something we're gonna see a lot of. Okay. Keep moving. Nothing here to, to destroy. There's a thingy heart in here. Burn heart. I don't think we can get to the burn heart though. There's no rocks in here, so nothing we can do with that. I think our clot's just died. Oh no, a clot, a clot is still alive. He's just in a bit of a wrong position. Right, we'll try and come back to that. Like I said, I want to do my due diligence here and do my extra rooms and stuff. Let's see what we've got going on over here. Champion, no thank you. Okay, that actually wasn't so bad. And then these ghost guys seem kind of easy. Fire in one direction. I think they're enemies that are like meant to be sort of hazardous around other enemies, but on their own, they're really not so bad. Okay. Go do the boss first before we do all this. I'm pretty sure this is secret room. Let me check it out. That it is. Again with the three... Come on now. I mean, I just want to quickly check my shop again here because I'd like to buy a bomb if I can. Unfortunately, I can't. I can buy a sack though. That might have a bomb in it. Unfortunately, it did not. The unknown. Unknown can be super, super risky because it can just reroll your run and stuff, but I'm going to give it a go and pop it in the um, in the boss room and see if it helps us. It might not. It might end up being a disaster and teleporters and all sorts of shenanigans, but I'm going to give it a go. Yeah, that's that's not that's not ideal. Unfortunately, I can't use a bomb on this guy. I like it when you do just enough damage to get him weak, but not so much that he goes underground permanently and he can get a bit more damage before he does. That was actually very, very nice of him. He didn't do much there at all. This this little uh, familiar dude I've got going on right now is really nice. That's very good. Um, We'll uh, play this guy a little bit here. My guy. My guy. Um, I'll do two more. One more payout. Come on, dude. There you go. Absolutely worthless. Okay, not worthless. Give us our health back, at least. Shot speed up, look down. I'm not particularly happy about the look down, but otherwise that's fine. Right. Quickly grab our fire. Obviously, this is a big risk to our run here, so we'd have to be careful. But we've got we've got a firepower. I think we're good to go. Oh, wait. Just realized. We get flight for this, so... Let's go and grab all that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why would I not do that? Yeah, we need one bomb to get into our boss trap room over there. I'm not going to do the boss again, just because I don't want to go through all the rooms. Just be very, very, very cautious here. A luckily easy guy there. Very easy room there. Extra key, come on. Extra bomb, please. Extra bomb. That was really nice, getting the ghosties there. Come on, game. One extra. I might have to do some extra runes here to try and get an extra bomb. Unfortunately, this is a pretty horrible room here. I've got to try and take out the, yeah, the, the little yellow ghost boys first. Chest with a bomb in it. Oh, you bastard, game. You bastard. Oh, man. It's really not being kind to me right now. It's really not being kind to me at all. There we go, baby. There we go. Okay, this this is this is way more easy with flight. And spectral, sorry, not flight.
Good, good. We grab a that, thank you. Let's try and get the leech. <laughs> as I said, I will take as long as it takes. I've got to try. Okay, that, that one just regenerated a spiked rock. Right, let's go. We got our extra bomb, I'm very happy about that. We are back into our mirror realm. Good, good, good. And we can come back over here and annihilate whatever boss this ends up being by cutting through here, bombing through here. One HP, heals one heart, randomly gives two different stats. We got shot speed and I think damage. Oh, oh no, luck I think it was. I think it was luck. Lovely stuff. And then one more boss. It's Ghostbuster. Ghostbuster can be... Okay, but also really, really annoying, depending on the attack patterns he decides to do. Not so bad. Stop trying to suck me in, boy. Yeah, red HP is now looking very, very good, which I like. We got keys for days, man. Keys for days. And we are good to leave. Apparently we left an item in there. It was Mum's bottle of pills, wasn't it? Yeah. Sorry, Mum's bottle of pills, but we do not want you. And we will bomb on through here. Good stuff. Like I said, I do want to, on occasion, do different paths on the streak. It, it really depends on if the run is it's all up to scratch. And I think this run is very up to scratch for Mother. We got an XL floor here. I wanted bombs, so I went for this. And I got bombs. Lovely. These guys can be a little annoying. Ooh. Um... Penny has an 8% chance to give us a card. I think that's I think that's worth it. I don't think we need Child's Heart at this point. We've got Cootie for this room, which is kind of nice. Ooh, the charm is helping a lot, apparently. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, I gotta say, this coin, 8% chance for a card on Penny pickup. It's not a lot, but I think it's enough to potentially get 2 or 3 um, throughout the course of this run. Ooh, we got Slick Spear randomly. Bad hit there. Okay, it's on my burn heart. Slick Spade is an incredibly good item. Happy to see it. Good, good. get some extra consumables and stuff out of that as well. We can smelt for 10. I think that's very worth doing. We can go pick up Child's Heart. We can definitely grab 8-inch nails for a big damage boost. Um, yeah, we'll go grab Child's Heart. Do you know what? Let's grab this and smelt this as well, Demon Core. We're not going to need all this money, are we? Smelting for 10 is pretty worthwhile. We've actually got enough to smelt again if we want to smell Child's Heart, but I'm not going to rely on that right now. I'm just going to hold it and see if we get another trinket that we want to smelt. Good stuff, though. Good stuff. I will definitely take a hug, good sir. Thank you. Thank you muchly. I think secret room's below us there, but I'm not going to go for that with only one bomb. Ooh, hello. I still don't really know how this guy works, this little gemstone mother. Can't remember. Can I cut through? No, I can't. Hello. I'll just cut through here for now to get that soul heart. Spiritkin takes half a soul heart in exchange for various rewards. Okay, I, I mean, based on our current soul hearts, I don't think I want to do that. It's good to know, though. He's a pretty cool guy. Oh, come on now. I've not really been using my active here at all, have I? I ought to be using it more. It does good damage. Oh, Demon Core went off there. Technically, I could go and do it to um, to grab this over here. There you go. Ah, just red hearts. 
Got a bit unlucky with that one. Not always going to get what we want. How does it work with this? It won't... Yeah, I guess I, I didn't think it had... Thingy the gap. There you go. Blood donation machine. Um, we don't really need the money right now, but obviously the damage is nice. But plenty of keys to work with here. And there's our first card. Chariot card. Lovely. We got another smell. This is crazy. Um, Siren's Call, I actually quite like, so I'm going to take that. And we get Reaper Bum as our one. Reaper Bum's a pretty good one to get. Um, and then every time we get hit, we get an additional one for the room. Pretty good on long boss fights. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot of smelting potential around, apparently. Beautiful. Oh my god, that was kind of close. Cutting it a little close there. Yeah, I don't want, don't want zappy zappies, please. Nor from you either. Right, it's boss time. I think. Oh no, shop time first. It's shop time first. Okay, that didn't do the what I was hoping it would. Don't know what this guy is doing in the minecart, really. He's not doing a whole lot, to be honest. There's another card. The Empress thing that's going to be better for us for the boss fights. And we've got 30 for the shop here. 35 for the shop now. Oh, the shop leads into... Oh, okay. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I was very confused by that for a hot minute there. Um, This is 0.2 speed. Three random items from your inventory are spawned on the floor where it ended. They can be collected in your next run by getting to the same floor. I mean, it's good for the speed up, and I guess if we do die, but it's not going to be super useful, I don't think. Um, I guess I'll do this. Why not? Hop on into the ferry, my guy. We should hurry yourself up a little bit. We'll see if we can get ourselves an Angel Delight, but if not, we'll get ourselves some, some bombs and stuff that we've been needing. And a random soul heart. Yes, please. What are you? Can you... Oh, there you go. Can you pop up, please? Thank you. That's one soul saved. And there you go. There's the bomb I was looking for. Thank you. Oh, my God. Okay. Was very much not expecting that. Was not at all ready for that. More bombs. Lovely. Yeah, some of these soul rooms I'm just not ready for yet. I just don't understand. Good, good. One more to go. One more to go. Still, you, you get an insane, insane amount of value. Oh, really? Okay. Also, Golden Trinkets Plus is glitching out again. Unfortunately, we didn't get the Angel item because that room was kind of BS, but we got plenty out of this. It was well worth the cost of doing business. Yeah, I think, I think 10 cent for that is just ludicrous value, even if you don't get the item. Think we are ready and raring to go. Oh, you moved, I see. Surprising get hit there, but oh well. Okay. Empress, I'm just gonna pop here. Kind of a basic room for this, to be honest. I don't think I've ever seen this cross pattern before. This is a modded one from Fiend Folio, though, so that makes sense. A very, very basic room layout here. That actually makes him quite hard to hit because he doesn't stay on screen for very long. Good, good. We've got a golden bomb out of him. More HP yet again. Good, good. Try and just use this when I can. It's good because it just destroys rocks and gets them out of the way as well. Like, there's, there's so much value in it. 
Laser guys, please get out the way. I don't see these enemies enough. These enemies don't seem to be really rare. They're cute, but I don't see them very often at all. Oh god, the fires. Okay. We good? Oh god, hello. Ah ha ha, you killed your own boy. Okay, that's not gonna hit you, is it? These laser guys are problematic. This, this this attack, this little laser thing that's chasing me now. Gotta kill him, otherwise, if that pro if that procs, you're gonna get hit. It's so hard to avoid. So glad we got Reaper Bomb as well. Reaper Bomb is a, a very good grab. I mean, look at that. Random burn heart, thank you. Placenta, dude, we are killing it on the HP department right now. And Immaculate Conception is not bad with the uh, the current HP setup we've got going on, to be honest. I don't even know why I'm doing this. There's no point. Um, fuck it. I'll just lose the burn heart. I don't need it. Um, we have some red hearts back over there. Wow, that destroyed in one. Are we good to go? Are we good to leave this, this space? I think we are. We can spawn our knife piece now as well. There you go. Down we go. Good stuff. A good run on the streak, baby. Health is looking very, very, very good right now. Ah, bugger. It's okay, we have that going on. We've got our knife now helping us out as well. Sacrificial blood? Oh, that's from um, from the bleed that we can get sometime from sl Slick Ace or whatever the shot's called. Hanged Man. I guess I'll hold on to a Hanged Man, actually. Not a bad idea. Hey, and you turn to gold as well. We're getting a lot of extra money out of this, too. Ooh, hello. Okay, I'm going to wait on the shop just to see what the shop offers us, but there's a lot of uh, valuable players there. Ooh, and an extra soul heart as well is very nice, especially when I just took some really stupid damage. These guys are really cool. I really like these enemy designs. I don't I don't like to sit back and just sort of respect the fiend folio enemy designs often enough. Dim bulb? Unfortunately I don't think Dim Bulb does anything for us, sadly. Um yeah. I wanna find my shop first, see if there's any shop items, but I'm pretty sure shop is gonna end up being um Mr. Greed Man himself. I doubt it'll be anything over, because we haven't had him yet. He's overdue. Sibling rivalry is pretty good. It can duplicate our familiars. Also, a hanged man here. You can use there. Oh, wait, no. Sibling rivalry is not the duplicating familiars one, is it? That's the trinket I'm thinking of. This is actually the familiar that's, that's chilling around here. Pretty good. Smelts a random trinket onto us. Why not? Torn page. I think that does anything for us here. Grab that. I think if I leave here and do this... Okay, no, it didn't. I thought that might respawn the, uh, the rock, but it didn't. Sometimes it does. Fish head, I don't think so. These eyeball dudes are really annoying. Yeah, I was thinking of the trinket that duplicates our familiars, not sibling rivalry, is uh, an actual familiar in itself. Let's see, can you open up so I can kill you? Thank you. More money, goddamn. Strength card. Dude, I'm really liking this trinket being smelted right now. Definitely a useful one to have in the repertoire. Because we did not find our shop. Bit of a range increase though, I like that. Uh, this is only Gehenna 1, so I'll do this. Use my strength card here.
Ooh, damn, we got an extra burn heart. I don't actually want the extra burn heart, to be honest. A devil card there. Random dissonance card. Fuck okay, it, I'm just going to use the devil card here. And get this done a bit quicker. Plus one flat damage. I think at this point we can probably say it's okay to go devil deal here. Um, I actually don't think it's worth on either of these. Although maybe it's worth taking B Book of Belial. Also grants the Eye of Belial effect for the room. Okay, let's let's take that. Let's take that. I think this has been amazing for us. Um, but its its usefulness is waning at this point. So I think it's okay to, uh, to drop it. Alright, let's head back and try and find the shop. Whereas this book is good for the boss fight, and on top of that, we get the torn page extra book effect of Eye of Belial apparently too, so he ain't gonna say no to that. Okay. Got that as well, why not? Yeah, I still wanna find my shop real quick. Should be over here, I think, at the end of this hall hallway. Yeah, it is. Good. Broken Murdom. Very good item to grab. I think we're probably okay to leave at this point here. Um, we do have some red hearts about. Maybe we should try and play the, uh, the Demon Beggar at least a little bit. One... Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now. Nah. Unfortunately, didn't really get what I wanted out of that. Don't want to play that too hard. I'll, I'll, I'll play this a little bit though. Just all heart. We got 15% chance for um, pair room for offline is friendly. Even gold, but it's just not really worth it. <laughs> I suppose Candy Heart isn't doing a hell of a lot for us right now, though, so why not? Uh, I'm just going to bomb myself to destroy this Burn Heart so that I can pick up that uh, Soul Heart. I think it's more worthwhile. A little bit of a waste, but I think it's more worthwhile. Right. Let's get ourselves gone. Let's get ourselves gone. Get away, bomb. Okay. To the next floor we go. Make sure to use that active item as well when actually relevant, because I, I tend to just waste active items. Got too good to use syndrome, as every Isaac player does. Oh. Yeah, I need to um I need to get back into playing uh, Baldur's Gate. I got really, really into it for a little while. And I've I've kind of like dropped it for like a week now. I really need to pick it back up again because I was really enjoying it. I don't know why I stopped. Um, it's just one of those games that's like, it, 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 it sort of is so good, but it takes so much like attention to really sort of get into it. Ooh, the axe is good. Um, but it's kind of like, I really got to find proper time to sit down and play it. I can't just decide on a whim to play it, you know? Um, oh, that'd be nice. We've got plenty of keys as well. Um, so I really want to get to sit down and start playing it again. There's a lot of games like that, to be honest. I've got, like, Red Dead Redemption 2 that I really want to play, but it's, like, it's a proper sit-down and play it for hours sort of game, so I want to make sure I have the time for it. What, what, what's your guys' game that's like that? That's, it's on your list, and you know it's fantastic, and you might have even played it already and enjoyed it, but you're just not... You're not playing it at the minute, because it's, like... It's just, like, it's too much of a commitment sometimes to actually sit down and play it, even though you know it's worth it. I really wish I could get more into single-player games. I just end up playing too much like Warzone. <laughs> but single-player story games, I do I do have trouble sort of just sitting down and enjoying. Um, we've gained triple shot for some reason, and I'm not exactly sure why. Oh, we've got Twisted Pair, I see. This room gave us Twisted Pair. Right, I don't even know where we're going to use that dice shard at this point, you know. I'm not entirely sure. Careful of these big stompy boys, we've died to those before. Do you know what we could do with a little bit of a fire rate boost? A fire rate's fine, but... 
It's definitely our, our, like our worst off stat at the moment. Could do with a little bit more oomph. Do you know what? There's probably a good room to use this. Probably should use it a little earlier, but... Taking some not so great damage right now, but it's it's fine. I'm hoping we can get another charge for this before uh, the boss. Actually, yeah, we can because that was a double charge for that last room over there. E shop again, although we are very low on funds right now, so it's not very valuable for us. Broken Murdom destroying shots. God damn! Remember when Broken Murdom used to just be awful? It used to just pause the shot in the air and it continue on, and it'd be horrible. Now it actually deletes the shot, and it's worth something. Before, it was absolutely useless. Alright, boss time. Obviously, we've got the other mum as well to go for. Kind of felt that one coming, it's fine. Obviously, we take the damage here. Good, good. Yeah, I think I think we're absolutely fine for Mother at this point. We've got plenty of HP to work with. Um, d our damage is really good. Broken Murdom's nice. We've got um, the thing that creates familiars for us. We'll get more and more in the fight. We've got our book, which is amazing. A lot of a lot of stuff on our side right now. There you go. Nice and easy. I like the way that that like radial shot at the end of killing Mum's heart is like it's the most evil thing ever because you know the the only reason it's there, the only reason it's there is to kill someone that's on one heart on their first time ever killing Mum. That's the only reason it exists. Ooh, this might be worth holding for the. Um, I'll leave it there for now in case we want to use a dice shard. So that might be worth using for the um, the boss fight, getting Mum's knife. Does a lot more damage. Black heart there. I guess I'll grab it. Yeah, I think I'll come back for that maybe, because um, I think that could be quite valuable for the for the mother fight. To be honest. Oh God. Don't need the money at this point. Like, literally, what the hell am I going to do with it? I guess I could find an arcade. Oh, God, these guys. These skulls, I, they have way too much HP, and they move way too fast. Look at that. God damn it. They're so hard to avoid, man. At least my buddy has given me a, a nice, healthy supply of burn hearts. I'm getting all these souls and the tools making a bunch of noise. It's a very noisy run, this, isn't it? The axe is great, too. I'm glad we got that on board, too. Every now and again, it just slices through and does a ton of damage. There's where we could use our money on one of the most worthless beggars to ever exist. Its item pool is trash, and it barely ever pays out. Perfection itself. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe that confessional. I used it once and it just broke and it's like, yeah, I give up. I, tr I tried with you, confessional. I always diss you, but I gave you the chance to redeem yourself in that in that instance right there and you decided, no. Okay, we got our boss here. Another burn heart. Good old Chimera. It's actually good with Ayah because he's still split into two eventually. Void Blood Machine would be horrible for us right now. It would just take all of our HP. It doesn't have its own um, item pool or anything right now. But kind of worthless to do so as well. Kill the body first, I think. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm actually avoiding this really well somehow. Oh. Got a nine tails, yes, please. And then come in here. 
I think I'm going to dice shard these two and see what we get. Burner, baby. Shoots burn tears which shatters into one three hitting. I I'll take a Thame for now. And then, oh, Hierophant. This is tricky, man. I think... I think I still want the uh, Dissonance card, whatever it's called. It's really far away, though. That's honestly the main thing that was putting me off grabbing it, is it's just so far away. Oh, wait. There's another one here. Doesn't matter. This is the right thing, right? Yes. Okay. We good. We good. I think it won't help a ton, but there is some spawns that Mother does have, so we'll work on those. Honestly, Broken Murdom. Doing a great job freezing enemies and stopping them from getting close to us and stuff. There you go. Ooh, we got a counterfeit penny there. Thank you. Ow. I mean, that kind of worked out for us. Lovely. What's, what's this here? Teleport sites to a curse room. If no curse room on the floor, teleports into a sacrifice room. That's kind of an interesting card. I like that. Is it possible to get a curse room and a sacrifice room on the same floor? I don't think it is, is it? Come on. Strength and a thank you. We'll check what's in our... Uh, in our dice room here, but I can't imagine it'll be anything we want to take. Even a five room would be useless. It's a four room. It's more damage. My god. Okay, I'm glad I went in there. <laughs> Not what I was expecting to get out of it, I'm glad I went in there anyways. Ferryman again. See, this is what I mean by the ferryman guy. It's just... You find, like, two or three of them every run. They only cost ten, and even if you don't save all the souls of the ghosts, you still get all the consumables, which guaranteed always amount to more than ten cents worth of, of uh, consumables. They are interesting and cool, but too strong and too common. It should be twenty cents to enter, I think. The chance that an angel deal alone is worth the 10 cent payment fee. Right. If only I could hold two cards, I like the magician as well. That would be very nice. Kind of an annoying room here. Oh. Luckily, I don't know what happened there, but everything just died. A Thame is, is just killing it as well. Even with zero luck, a Thame can still just do absolutely mad damage. It still procs a ton. I think it's 25% of zero luck or something like that. Still often enough to be pretty good. Good, good. We've got to be near the boss now. Oh, yes, a water bottle. A plus one fire rate. Water bottles, again, they're a bit weird. They're very, very strong and... Sometimes they just replace things on, like, you, you won't get them on a room drop, but you'll come back into a room where it didn't drop, and then it'll just be there. Which I think is a bit cheesy as well. Two miser hearts there. Why not? And this will be the boss. Good, good. Oh, hello. Little boss man right at the end. Okay, so we come down here, we pop that, we pop that. Oh yeah. Mom's knife is doing insane damage. Insane damage, holy. This is a good choice. Well, I wasn't expecting to have a mother win on our streak so soon, but I'm, I'm glad it's here. Oh, broken murder and plus 10 units of gold. That was beautiful. The timing on that was impeccable. There you go. Easy peasy. At full HP. Didn't get a single hit on us. I hope you guys did enjoy our 11th win of the streak. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.